Today, the church honors the memory of a French woman who came to the U.S. as a missionary in 1818. Hello, I'm Father James Kabicki, and that woman is St. Rose Philippine Duchenne, who was a member of a community called the Religious of the Sacred Heart. You can see how her family planted the seeds of her holiness in her as she was growing up. Her mother used to tell Rose and her siblings bedtime stories, and the stories she told were from the lives of the saints. Such stories probably stayed with her as she slept and dreamed, and the next day she and her brothers and sisters would act out the stories they had heard the night before. Little did her mother know that her daughter Rose would one day join those canonized saints whom she told her children about. The stories of the saints are certainly a good way to inspire young people, in fact all of us, in the faith. Saint Rose Philippine once said, You may dazzle the mind with a thousand brilliant discoveries of natural science. You may open new worlds of knowledge which were never dreamed of before. Yet, if you have not developed in the soul of the pupil strong habits of virtue which will sustain her in the struggle of life, you have not educated her, but only put in her hand a powerful instrument of self-destruction. That makes a lot of sense to me. Education is more than sharing facts. It's more than acquiring skills that will help you get a good job one day. It's ultimately about forming the values of a person. Because without good and godly values, without virtues and wisdom, all the knowledge in the world won't help a person come to eternal life and could, on the contrary, become the means by which that person falls away from God.